Welcome to Boobays. I am Caitlin. And I am Joshua. And we are your hosts for this spectacular, fun, fun time mm-hmm. of blood today. Gruesome this motherfucker deaths. is gory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, pretty pretty up in your face with it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the practical effects, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, they're really Pretty good. damn good. Especially with the... Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I like that part. With the S word yep. part. Um, but yeah, um, and what are we covering today, Caitlin? We are covering the 2006 remake of Wes Craven's 1977, mm-hmm. The Hills Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. And they also have mutants. That's right. They sure do. They are people who are, um, we're in a nuclear, living in a place where nuclear testing had occurred. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um yeah. So the opening of the screen, it like tells us from 1945 to 1962 that there were 331 atmospheric nuclear tests conducted by the UN, U.S. government mm-hmm. and that they deny any genetic defects that have occurred. Um, yeah. Which is clearly not the case. Yeah. But also when you like inform and tell the town of people to like evacuate mm-hmm. and they choose to stay. I mean, what really then is like, yeah, that's you really know, on them. Honestly, so the in 1945 in New Mexico, there was mm-hmm. an actual it was the world's first nuclear explosion. And it occurred on July 16th, 1945, when a plutonium implosion device was tested at the site located 210 miles south of Los Alamos, New Mexico, on the plains of the Alamo Gordo mm-hmm. bombing range known as the Jordana del Mur. Mirto. <laughs> so many names. There are. Yeah. Um, basically, the code name for this test was the Trinity test, though. Okay. Um, and so it was an actual bombing that occurred there. Now, the like all the mannequins at the end is an actual thing that happened in Atomic City, Nevada. And so I, I had f- earlier in it, I was like, oh, like making all these notes about because I had seen this before we talked about yeah. how we saw it in basically 2006 mm-hmm. when it came out. And we haven't seen it A since. A long ass time ago. Yeah. I remember seeing it and remember being like, ah. <laughs> but Scar- Yeah, me too. Yeah. I was terrified. But I, I didn't remember anything about the rest of the film. I basically. think I watched it at a cousin's house maybe. Yeah. And uh was one of those things where like they were watching it in a different room and I was going in and out. Because I was like, oh, this is too scary. Yeah. But then it's I'm really like, let me go back. Gory. Oh, this is too scary again. Yeah. And then would leave. Yeah. <laughs> But um, so it was something that is called it was Operation Doorstep. And it Mm -hmm. was basically where they I don't know why this is a weird like piece of knowledge that I know. I was like, how did you like from the the, the stem from watching that and later on you just like look it up or it just came to you? No, no. This is like I was making notes about it before I saw the dummies. I was Mm -hmm. talking about Atomic City, Nevada, Mm -hmm. like in my notes. And then they brought that up. Gotcha. And with the mannequins at the end and stuff. So. Um, because the don't worry, darling, is that yeah. the one with Harry Styles? that's in Florence, uh, that's going to be coming out uh, directed by Olivia Wilde. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that one, I don't know the name of the title, but I, think I know it's what you're talking don't about. worry, darling. I was watching the trailer for that. Mm-hmm. And, um, while I was watching it is when I uncovered this memory, I was like, it kind of is giving mm. me these vibes of like this nuclear test site that happened in Nevada. And, uh, I was telling one of my employees about it and I was yeah. like, look at all this. And she was like, why, th- why do you know this? <laughs> and I was like, I don't but know. What, what happened? What was it? Like, um, so basically they put all of these like the mannequins, fake mannequins people. and houses and stuff. And like just cars were positioned uh-huh. everywhere with like yeah. people in it to see what could withstand the actual atomic blast. Gotcha. Um, and so basically they just had all these like people stationed and mm-hmm. stuff like people in the basement, like mannequins. Though, mm-hmm. not real yeah, yeah. 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 They're mannequins. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you can see like mm-hmm. where they're like in a bomb shelter type mm-hmm. setting. And, so then, like, there's the after effects too, where they've like all been blown up and they're like knocked over and stuff. Yeah. And um, I bet. so, a lot of the scenes that were happening towards the end of the movie were really giving me 
these and we'll have to post some of these pictures on our Instagram because it's super cool Mm -hmm. and I wish more people knew about it because it's fucking wild. So basically, and, um, they, they used it. (laughs) It's, it's so weird. Um, this was occurring in like the Mm fifties, fifties to sixties and stuff on January 27th, 1951 nuclear testing at the NTS officially began with the detonation of shot able a one kiloton bomb as a part of operation ranger. No clue what that means. Yeah. But basically in reality, like, um, they were doing large scale scale atmospheric tests and they lasted for nearly 12 years. Yeah. They were doing this and, um, they were, so they had all that to see like what could actually withstand it and how like close people could be yeah. to a bomb. And then they basically used it as like tourism. And so like the mushroom clouds from the atmospheric test could be seen up to a hundred miles away. And this led to increased tourism for Las Vegas and mm-hmm. throughout the fifties and early sixties, the city capitalized on this interest. And so that's crazy. They're like, Come see, and some casinos hosted yeah. dawn parties and created atomic-themed cocktails, encouraging visitors to view the test. Yeah. Um, and basically, they'd just be that like, That is wild. Come see our mushroom cl- clouds. Like, <laughs> like, it's just so, so weird. Um, that is so crazy, cool, but crazy. Because but especially like, what we know about Yeah, now, nuclear. but because, like, nuclear fission was, like, just, like, they were still getting to getting it all together back then. They're just like, yeah, we're just blowing things up. Like little do they know, mm-hmm. like you're like creating nuclear. That is a huge crater. Yeah. And it looks just like the ones from the movie. the movie. Yeah. They're creating like all this nuclear fallout. That's yeah. like literally mutating people. If people they get too close. And, so, and also just it kills you. You get cancer and all that stuff. Yeah. If giving you, like, people get any a lot exposure. of way on like, Way too things much they wouldn't be getting <clears throat> yeah. um, normally. Sorry, I know I have like a bunch of weird facts about this film. Well, just because of things that I like that were triggered in my memory throughout. Mm-hmm. So I'll drop a few. But there is one that is um, this was just on IMDb trivia. But it says at around three minutes, the photos and mutations that play during the opening credits, mm-hmm. which this opening credit scene is phenomenal. Yeah, I really like it's it. It's like what inspired American Horror Story. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And um, but they're not caused. They're not birth defects from atomic mutation, but birth defects caused by the agent orange in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And so that was, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but also like so sad. Yeah. Agent orange is like something that even it gets passed down through your generations. Once it's in your bloodstream, it's in your bloodstream. So Mm -hmm. then like it can affect, which is so wild generations to come. Like even if it skips a few, it could affect like your great, great grand son or something. Yeah. Which is so strange. Yeah. My dad was in Vietnam. So he, um, thankfully didn't get in contact with that but he has a lot of friends that like died yeah. and like their kids are fucked up because oh. of like getting exposed to it so wild mm-hmm. i want to research more about agent orange now i don't know too much Some about warfare. it yeah yeah that's mm-hmm. all i really know um but yeah so we're in the new mexico desert where mm-hmm. yes. it did say 1945 that is factual we start with that little black screen it gives us information it's mm-hmm. setting up like what we need to know about the film then we get that beautiful like really cool stylistic uh opening credits yeah. type of scene where we're getting like images of nuclear tests then we get cut in scenes of like you know uh people children um with uh, deformities or defects uh, caused by um the chemicals and the radiation exposure and then uh after that in sequence we get oh. um Okay, that's where it was. It was during that opening sequence they were putting the mannequins in. And I was mm-hmm. like, that was where I was like, oh, the man, like these mannequins yeah. are inspired like this off of this actual town. Um, did, okay, wait, before that cool opening sequence even happens, that person that jumped out and got that, uh, I, don't, I don't know, radiation Whatever worker was, yeah, yeah. scared the shit out of me. Yeah, no, <laughs> it was a quick, it was a quick chunk scare. Oh, like, yeah, because <laughs> right before that, we <laughs> kind of get these government officials that looks like they're trying to like, get back something or it was a fish or something from yeah like, uh, the water was green uh-huh. and this fishy this godzilla that's they were trying to collect samples and they end up getting killed yeah um by uh, and they've got super strength we figure out later i think it's lizard who killed them lizard or lizards the one with the like mm-hmm. uh, tooth mm-hmm. and then i think definitely homeboy that was in there with lizard in the trailer I think he was there too because he the was just yeah. just whapping him yeah. around like they were a rag doll. Is wild. Yeah. yeah, apparently with uh radiation exposure you get uh not only the deformities but superhuman strength. Yeah. And like just uh, the ability super, to not die. Yeah, I was <laughs> like half of these 
like he gets stabbed and it's just like okay yeah <laughs> and then other guy gets blown up and he's it's just still like <laughs> alive yeah. yeah um and so after the opening sequence we get this dude he's in this like uh, kind of he kind of reminds me of like what the harbinger of death would be in all movies mm-hmm. you know um at this gas station and he's looking uh for ruby he's calling out for ruby yeah and i was like Who uh, the fuck is yeah ruby? and um he's going around everywhere he's looking for her, calling out he goes as far as to like going like over this like trespassing area and you can do see not cross even whatever that the rocks and stuff are yeah, green they're different too. colors yeah and different like, colored Ooh. and um he ends up going into like the opening of this cave a and little mining talking shaft. to uh, saying jupiter right yeah or someone jupiter and he's like uh and all these all these the characters of, of the town or whatever they all have like it's like jupiter lizard ruby goggles goggles yeah uh ruby uh, Pluto, I think, was one at one Pluto, time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what who all knows these, why. Yeah, I don't know what the correlation is, but they all have just like those. Because none of, of names. these people really looked like a lizard or, or in space, like yeah, planets. I don't know. And then a ruby. I don't ruby. know. Ruby. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was fitting that she got the red jacket. Yeah. Yeah. For but, sure. Poor ruby. Um, yeah, Poor Ruby. No. She, 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 uh, she deserved Ruby more. for justice. Justice I mean, for justice Ruby. I mean, justice for Ruby. Thank Ruby you. for justice. <laughs> That's a, like, <laughs> can you imagine? Okay. Um, and so he's basically getting back to the whatever gas station he, mm-hmm. he's at. And he's saying, like, he doesn't want to do this anymore. He's tired of whatever. You kind of get the sense of, like, he's working with someone. And he's just like, I don't want to do it. And then mm-hmm. you see a bag on the front porch of whatever his place is. And then he... Takes it anyways, he and he's like, anyways, well, you know yeah. what? Might as well. Might it's as already well. here. Just let me see what's in here. And so, obviously, he's been getting, I would say, like, compensated with, like, jewelry and all the things that they steal from mm-hmm. all the people that end up, like, getting murdered. Um, that and, they really don't have any use for. Yeah, and, I mean, even so, what would he have any use for it? He, yeah. like, yeah, it makes no sense to he me. Is pretty far Like, what was the from... motive? Because I'm just like, what would you even, you do, what do you spend your money on? You yeah. You're just living out here in and a weird shack. Yeah. yeah. And did you see his shirt? Like all that like brown, like yeah. just like sweaty. It looked like he'd been wearing shirt. that for days. D- weeks. We- weeks. Yeah. It was gross. That's not his only t-shirt. I would have just taken my shirt off. Right. At that point. Uh, but it's the way that, and I know his house stank. Oh, it had to. And it you know, he don't smell it though. So gross. Yeah. He's so used to it. Not, yeah. It, it was, was so weird. The like juxta- juxtaposition between the. Um, front little store because it mm-hmm. looked like organized, but it you could Some tell it wasn't off. clean. Yeah, there was like a l- thick layer of dust over everything. Yes, and which how do they do that? How to fake dust? Like just like whoosh, oh, whoosh, like yeah, maybe they've got because everything like kind of like almost like a fire extinguisher, but mm, just with dust and it's brown colored. Yeah. yeah, and I know everything in there was either fake or expired as hell. Oh yeah, I know. Whenever homeboy Bobby takes or Bob takes the, the water, bottle of water, yeah, I was like, oh, Bobby, don't drink that. Probably poisoned. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. probably got some tincture in it to make them fall asleep. Yeah, um, which is not the case, but that is a missed opportunity from them if they didn't mm-hmm. do that. Just poison everyone. And so yeah, uh, anyway, he can't going do anymore. Going through the bag, finds an ear, finds an ear, a bloodied up ear, and then like it's still bloody, and it's got picture or er, pictures. It's got. Earrings? Piercings. Right. The piercings, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all over it. And then mm-hmm. he pulls out a picture with a woman and a man mm-hmm. and the girls. You can see all the piercings in the ear, so you know it's her ear. It gives very fresh when he puts in, like, pictures of the girls mm-hmm. with the me. Yeah. yeah. Like, here you go. Here's what you're getting. Yeah. It, also, it looked like an Olsen twin in the photo. I, I was like, is that I an didn't Olsen didn't pay twin? Too close attention to it. <laughs> it could have been. It probably was, was not. not. No. But it could have <laughs> been Elizabeth. It could have been. But when she was younger, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and so then we have the family showing up, yes. which we have our main family, the Coopers. No, I'm Way saying, they're too not many. The oh, I was I like, is that their last no, name? I, I don't like, think we, have, we never got a last name. Yeah. So I we have we did. Bob, Ethel. We have Bryn, uh, Lynn and Doug and, and Brenda and Bobby. Bobby. And Little we Bobby, have Big Bob. Also a baby named Catherine. Yes. And two doggos named Beauty, Beauty and Beast. And Beast. Which is very fitting. How cute. They were very cute. And I was... Yeah. Anyways, um, you know when there's dogs involved in a scary movie, they come something's going to happen to them. Uh, um, and so anyways, um, we have them kind of pulling up. Big Bob. The Big Bob comes out. He's getting some gas. That uh, crazy dude who runs the shop who was yelling to Ruby and all this er- earlier comes out and is being very kind of 
mm, a little cryptic with them. I would say mm-hmm. not cryptic, but like just also just like, uh, like uh, at one point I think. Doug or Bobby ask him like, "You got cell service out here?" And he's like, "Nope, sure don't." Or yeah, yeah. And he's then like, like, "You're not gonna." And because they said Doug was like, "I sell cell phones," he was like, "You're not gonna find any customers out here." Yeah, kind of thing. And then someone asked him like, "Isn't it illegal to smoke by a fuel pump?" And, and he's, he's got like, this like yeah. fat ass cigar in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just got this little laugh yeah, that he does. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's unhinged. Literally, very much so. Yeah. Um, I mean, and clearly, he, and he keeps see. just making these weird comments. Excuse me. And so, um, after that, I think they're they're what we figure we get to figuring out that it's um uh, Bob and Ethel's twenty uh, fifth silver. silver uh, I was about to say reunion <laughs> wedding anniversary, and they're on vacation. But before they were going to where they go, San Francisco, right? yeah, or San Francisco or San Diego, one Something of the like sands that. in California. Uh, they wanted to stop, or well, basically, I think it was more so. Uh, Bob was like wanted to take the scenic route and mm-hmm. like see the desert and stuff. And everyone else was like, we, "Why the fuck are we out here?" Like Doug, oh God. Man, Doug really redeems himself for me. But at the beginning of this movie, I was like, shut the fuck up, Doug. Uh, You're being a little fucking bitch. Yeah. And you're being disrespectful. He is. Like the way that, I mean, the dad was being a fucking dick to him, too. Yeah, but still. But I was like, dude, don't. don't Oh, and also because he's taking it out on Lynn as well. Yeah. Yeah. The way he talks to her. Like, it's also like Uh, not. Yeah. Yeah, because he was like, get my dish. Get me that. And I'm like, dude, get your own fucking jacket. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Like. Do something. Yeah, and there were moments at the beginning. Lynn was trying to be like, so sweet. And I don't yeah, fucking mm-hmm. hated. I hated Doug at the beginning. Me too. I second that. But I do agree. He's like, why can't we fly like normal people? Mm-hmm. I would have been like, yeah. Or at least take because even the guys like, you sure didn't take the fastest route to get there. Yeah, I He's know. Like, and then also too, like going through the hot desert, you're mm-hmm. in this like setting with like traveling with family in general is just like not fun sometimes. And that's so many people. That's mm-hmm. too many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It's too many people, opinions, so like blah, blah, blah. people are going to yeah. be fighting, getting on each other's nerves. It's hot. Yeah, because the they AC had no was out AC. in the airstream. That's right. Oh. Oof. And so anyways, yeah, we have them all doing their thing. They're getting, we're getting this like movie kind of set up and someone we don't see who it is comes and like steals the jacket right mm-hmm. off yeah, we of, just see out of the, tr- the back of the truck yeah which is a red jacket because the windows were rolled down which is i'm assuming ruby yes yes um we just see her little feet which mm-hmm. we do see later they are She's her little very socks. little yeah i feel like she was really like that tall yeah she wasn't very tall and so um they get to talking right or they're no they're getting ready they're leaving and they're all like getting ready to go um we have half of them getting in the rv and half of them getting into the front of the truck um yeah. which oh, is and bobby was peeing and, and she looked oh, that's through right <laughs> that's thing. right ruby mm-hmm. yeah i feel like ruby liked him that's why she, she did. took his yeah she sweater. thought it was cute yeah because mm-hmm. she was about their age yeah and oh poor ruby poor ruby she deserved more she did and so i forgot about that yeah he went he had to pee it's the way he almost peed in front of his sister and she was like there's literally an outhouse right there yeah. but like i would not i would have gone, gone in that house i would have like pissed behind it maybe there was like 18 fly traps in there covered and then and like animal the, pieces yeah i was like you, there carcasses. were definitely carcasses in the, the odor alone i know just was oh, so God. fucking horrible it had to have been like uh, yeah I would desert just, heat and bloody carcasses i'm gonna throw up <laughs> um and so yeah they they get to go in and before they get going um what's it i think it's beauty mm-hmm. yeah beauty gets out of the car or the rv right wherever they were they had her in and she ends up um, going into, into the, the cafe store mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah. And the corner store. And that's whenever Lynn goes to go looking for her and she gets mm-hmm. up into the place. That's when we were talking about. We see all this like product on shelves, but it's like not. It's all it dusty. Definitely it looks untouched. Whacked. It looks like a fake storefront. Yeah. And she goes through the back through this beaded curtain, which I love beaded curtains. <laughs> and um she sees the bag that we saw from the beginning yeah. and it's the way that she's about to go through it. But then homeboy like pops in and is like, can I help you? What you doing in here? And, uh, she's like, sorry, you know, the dog got riled up. She won't yeah. calm down now or whatever. Um, which I also would thought the way she explained it was weird. I was like, well, it's just, Oh, my dog got out and it ran in here. I'm getting it. I'll yeah. leave. Like, yeah. But anyways, um, they get back to the vehicle. They're about to head out. And that's whenever the dude, I guess, because he's suspecting now, well, she might think something's up. My mm-hmm. cover is blown or something. I don't know. Yeah, she definitely, because yeah. he noticed that she had 
like I think she had already walked away from the bag, but he noticed noticed the bag had been like disturbed, mm-hmm. and so he but was she really like, just like, sh- but yeah, still. she really only just opened it, and that mm-hmm. was it. But yeah, I mean, he, she has no clue whether or not that stuff is his. Yeah, and, and she didn't make any mention of it anyone anyways, so she yeah. wasn't that worried about it. But and so that's whenever he comes up to Bob and he's like, you know what? There is a shortcut. Mm-hmm. If you just travel up a couple miles and make a left, two miles left, big dirt road with a fence, you can't miss it. It's mm-hmm. probably a fence saying like U.S. government danger. Keep out. Do not co- yeah <laughs> radiation zone. And uh, Bob says thank you. And they go on that way, and he decides to take the the shortcut. If yeah. the moment someone told me this road's not on a map, no, no, not happening. Absolutely, the no. fuck not. If it's not on a map, then it doesn't deserve to be driven on. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm, not. And it's not supposed to. Yeah. Exactly. It's uncharted territory. Especially like all of that, and he's supposed to be a fucking ex detective. And I was like, none of this is ringing gave any you bells. Any red flag, especially when he is like. In his death scene, too, whenever he, like, freaks the fuck out. I'm like, yo, shouldn't you have at least a little bit more chill? Considering that you were an ex-police officer, ex-detective. All of it. Even when he goes in and he's, like, yelling and he's, like, later on when he's talking and he's just, like, talking. I'm like, obviously, bro, nobody's replying to you. Go into stealth mode. Yeah. Like, you're just, like, If something is amiss. Yeah. Like, no. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He didn't really give... I mean, but then there are some points. There are so many points too in this movie with a lot of the characters mm-hmm. though, uh, that where I'm just like, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Like you deserve to die. Uh, there's a literally at one point where I wrote, I hope Doug dies soon. Of course yeah. he doesn't fucking die. No. Well, um, not that we but know, you know He has a little turning point, I guess. He does. Not, well, I don't bit. even know. It's just more so that I respect him for like, like holding his own and like, yeah. like really I seriously kicking some didn't ass. expect him to. I yeah. expected him to like just fold, mm-hmm. die, especially roll that over one and be murdered. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so we have them. Uh, that we also get a little. We just get some exposition. They're all talking. It's like family time mm-hmm. as they're like getting their mom used to be a hippie. She was Dad a little hot. She was hot. Yeah. Kids are grossed out, obviously. Um, and Dad. then we have. Um, uh, oh yes, that's whenever. These like spikes get little like little fancy tires. Yeah, spikes. get laid out like super fa- like a whip, like a chain. Yeah, just whoosh, and just gets laid out on the road, and uh, the tires get fucked up, mm-hmm. wrecked. Um, that Bob loses control of the vehicle, obviously. Yeah, because he's got this just, like, fucking all giant the weight behind airstream him. behind him. Yeah. So you're already fishtailing probably a yeah. little bit. And it's just like all that propelled, like push, push, pushing them even mm-hmm. more. And the way they hit that big old boulder, they hit a big ass boulder, end up like really wrecking the axle and the truck. It's all twisted. The frame's fucked up. Yeah. But the way they hit it, I'm like, surely like he would have been like, yeah, like dead on impact. It kind of went up. A little bit, so maybe that's the only way that saved his life because it went. Uh, the impact was a little more under. Yeah. Um, I I was like remarkably, uh, I was shocked at his condition mm-hmm. afterwards because mm-hmm. he was remarkably fine, and I was like, yeah. "Are you, are you superhuman?" No, I'm just kidding. And now a word from our sponsors. Yeah, so these bitches uh, are super, 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 super beings. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I mean, he gets out, and the way that <laughs> fucking Doug comes up, he's like, so what's the damage? And he was like, the axle's all twisted. Mm-hmm. It's it, And he just kind of looks at it, and he's like, it's totaled. And Doug goes, How well, can, can we, we fix, fix it? it? <laughs> and he was like, did you not just fucking hear me? Literally. The car is totaled. Mm-hmm. The axle, like the wheels are like. Meh. Yeah, there's no fixing <laughs> there's no it. Because he's like, that. Doug is like, what can we do? And I know Bob's thinking in his head, like, what can you do? Like, you nothing. Pussy ass bitch. Yeah. That's what he's literally, thinking. Literally, because that's what Doug or Bob, it gives definitely the vibes that Bob does not respect Doug. Oh, no. And Doug doesn't he respect he's Bob. he's less of a man. And because, because he's, he's a not, Democrat and he's yeah. afraid of guns. Yeah. 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 I was like, LOL. Which, same. Uh, yeah, honestly. <laughs> but um, that's what evil. They, yeah, I don't. They, the invention of the do gun, much good for them. The invention of this. the gun was the changing tide of like human humanity. Mm-hmm. Like, really was. Fuck the Winchester rifles. Mm-hmm. 
And so um, I did get the Winchester Mystery House out of it, though. So that's pretty <laughs> fucking cool. Um, but did we need the rifles? No, uh, no probably not. And so uh, we have them all kind of like, oh, well, what now? You know, um, there there's no signal. Um, they are in the middle of the complete fucking I nowhere. I like the way he checked, though. And I was like, yeah. Dude, and he's like ninety seven percent coverage, and we're in the three percent that doesn't get it. And I'm like, I was oh, like, why yeah. are you just still, why are you trying to sell a, a, your phone like gig to your wife? Like, exactly. Calm down. And also, still to this day, it is hard to get cell service out there. I have made the drive from Texas to California multiple yeah. times now, and in that region of New Mexico. And I don't know if they're coming from Texas, but I imagine they're somewhere out yeah. there. There are parts of the like stretch of road in New Mexico and Arizona where you get no, no cell, cell service. service. And that's crazy. I've been, you know, do you think they almost do it on purpose? Cause they don't want people living out there cause they're hunting secrets. Probably. Mm-hmm. Or they got Roswell, mm-hmm. um, area 51. But yeah, there's like, uh, I mean with Sprint, I got like zero. I, mm-hmm. I've made this drive with multiple self services yeah, too. I actually, them all out. yes. Um, with Sprint, I had like zero out there, and and then with Verizon, I actually did have more. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, like on it's, top of yeah, it's certain mountains in California too. I was able to get self service while other people weren't, which was nice. So this is an ad for Verizon. There we go. Um, I was like, is Verizon America's still a thing? Network. Yeah, that, is that's it? who I have. Oh, okay. I just I don't I don't even know anymore. It's Verizon. AT&T. AT&T. I thought Sprint was like absorbed into someone else at oh, this point. Oh, probably. I think it was absorbed with T-Mobile. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so maybe just Verizon. I don't know. Cricket. They're all <laughs> they're all monopolies. I have Verizon. In their own right. Yeah, um, they are. And so we have them basically just like, there's not really much to do. We Men have are being immature as fuck. They're the, just like. And we have Brenda's just like, well, I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to pull out a chair and start yeah, sun tanning. Took no time. Literally. She was just like. Bleep. I'm going to use the sun. <laughs> uh, and that's whenever we have them kind of coming back. Um, Ugh, and the way Doug looks at her too. Oh, yeah. I was I noticing was like, that what too. What a fucking creep. Creep, creep, creep. Um, checking out the younger sister. Yeah. Um, and so they're, 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 the girls are chatting, I remember. And then I think that's whenever, oh, cause Lynn and Brenda are chatting mm-hmm. and that's whenever Doug is like, can you get my sweater? And she's like, yes, honey. Brenda, Brenda responds. Does it. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, oh, because this is when we get an exposition of just like Brenda being like next year, I'm not coming on this family yeah, I'm trip. Going I'm going to Cancun with my friends. Mm-hmm. Don't blame me, girl. And, um, they end up deciding that Doug is going to go like walk up the road a few miles just to see if there's anything or anybody he can get some help. And that Bob is going to go back to the gas station mm-hmm. where they saw the, uh, the crazy old creepy old man to see if he can borrow his car and be like, and go Yo. get a tow truck or get some help or something. Exactly. And yeah. when Lynn is inside the trailer, she's in there and she sees a reflection. That's right. In the heels, but right before she can heels, like think of anything of it, um, Bobby like comes up and scares her on the side of oh, the RV. Oh yeah, and he's like, "Can you get me a Twinkie?" Yeah. And so in this point, the birds were kind of ch- like chittering too because mm-hmm. there were random birdies oh, in yeah, there, the that's little right. parrots. Not the birds. And at this point was when another fact was triggered in my brain, and I was mm. like, "Aren't birds a good detection for radiation?" But it was canaries were used in mines. Oh really? Yes, to detect carbon monoxide and other toxic gases. How would they do that? Um, I. Hold on. I did look it up. I just, I was like, I'm pretty sure it took me a while to figure out which actual bird it was. It was used, but, Mm -hmm. um, a mining tradition dating back to 1911, the use of canaries and coal mines to detect carbon monoxide and other toxic gases before they hurt humans. So basically I think they would send the birdies in and they would, um, go die. And so. (laughs) And they would just see where they drop dead. Oh, this is the marker. uh Yeah, Yeah, basically. And so then I thought they would be able to live like and then come back and be like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I don't know. Now the Smithsonian magazine's like fucking getting all (laughs) all these ads are popping up. Um, But basically, so because they need such immense. okay, here we go. Why was a canary hauled in suggested solution? Canaries, like other birds, are good early detectors of carbon monoxide because they're vulnerable to airborne poisons. Um, because they need such immense quantities of oxygen to enable them to fly and to fly to heights that would make people altitude sick. Their anatomy allows them to get a dose of oxygen when they inhale and another when they exhale. 
by holding extra air in their air, uh-huh. air sacs. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. And they relative, inhale when they exhale? Yeah, basically. Relative to mice or other easily transportable animals, they could have been carried in by the miners. They get a double dose of air and any poisons the air might contain. So miners would get an earlier war- warning because they would basically die. die. And then be like, oh. Mm-hmm. Little chickies, dad, stop. Don't go any for more forward. Step back. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. Poor animals. You know, animals really be getting like used. They really do. Ah, <sighs> humanity. So sad. Because even in this movie, I was like, this dog better be getting paid. And I'm like, but wait, know, paid actor. How do you even the the owners just making bank off this dog? Mm-hmm. Like that dog better. They have better the buy most hella life. treats. Hella yeah. treats. Like Louis Vuitton. Everything. everything like everything's warm gucci treats like warm blankets like a warm pillow like this doggy's got his own air mess has <laughs> an assistant that just literally pets it all damn day when mm-hmm. it's not working rolls over pet my belly feed me well don't feed dog grapes they're highly peanut butter to, yes peanut butter you mean peanut butter literally um but yes uh, anyways so we have the brothers left in charge Ha ha ha. Uh dad is like to Brenda, don't make fun of your brother. Yeah. Um, and they have a little moment where they're kind of having a picnicish outside of the R V mom. Oh, and they prayed sisters. before they, they prayed. left. Oh. Which was so silly. Yeah. It was like that's not gonna help you. <clears throat> not at all. <laughs> and Sorry. so then we had um them having their little picnic. We have the exposition of just like, you know, uh, but Bobby makes a really like inappropriate joke, I guess, about mom and rattlesnakes and yeah. Freud. And like, I guess, I mean, she likes dick. Mm-hmm. And then um, we have beauty. It get, gets, gets loose again because so, they yeah. got out initially whenever yeah. the car broke down mm-hmm. and you think after the first time that bobby they had to go t- round them up they would learn to tie inside. them up yeah especially i mean because this is technically the second time because yeah. Peter got out once At earlier the, in the beginning yes and so like tie your fucking dogs up it's not working out and so we have beauty running away uh bobby immediately goes running after her mm-hmm. um, also why does this motherfucker have two shirts on yeah, I've and the pants so low and yeah. the bell and the, his whole look the whole time I did not care for it's, it was it was very reminiscent of the time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. super duper was 2006 ish yeah I definitely wore that in middle school and stuff mm-hmm. and I was a tomboy um, I, I just couldn't get with it Mm-mm, but you know me I also like tight fitting clothing and short I shorts. also just yeah I don't I would have taken one of the shirts off at mm-hmm. least. And it's hot. Yeah. Because it's too hot out and there. And at this point, he's <laughs> collecting a little sweat thing like the other creepy dude. Did. Yeah. On the front and the back. Yeah, literally. And so he ends up um, finding beauty, unfortunately, pretty fast. Um, who They were working fast. Mm-hmm. They He finds beauty and he is imme- immediately like is like emotional because they're like, oh, shit, she's dead. But then when he goes in like further inspection, he's like, oh, this is fucked. Um, she's like basically gutted completely like gutted. from you know like from the, the from jugular the, to yeah what is that called from groin. like uh and scream whenever scream, they're like yeah. whenever you're like yeah you anyways fish. yeah he, she's nothing's in her and it's and just she the looks pelt. like she had been lying out there for days the way her body was like already mm-hmm. i don't know it i guess it was the mixture of d- blood and dirt and sweat from the other people mm-hmm. but she looked like matted or when she looked so pretty right before she wasn't yeah, very beauty she was anymore. a good doggo and so um yeah he ends up freaking out because he's like what the heck and so he starts running did he hear someone or he see something right yeah so we we get to see a flash of someone running by in his red sweatshirt so who we know is ruby yeah but um well we don't know it's ruby yet mm-hmm. but um that is what he saw that out of the corner of his eye and that's what made him go running. And so follow. he starts running and he ends up falling off like this little cliff mm-hmm. thing and ends up knocking himself out, which already we're like, okay, Bobby's going to die. Probably. Yeah. I, I just put Bobby is fucked. Yeah. I, me too. I, mean, he was, I was honestly surprised. And then we have um, Ruby coming up to him. She comes up as he's knocked out and mm-hmm. she starts like, you know, uh, caressing him. Yeah. And then she notices there's just blood on him, but it's not his blood. He's got blood dripping on him uh, from well i think a little bit of it was his oh, was blood it? oh okay the one that was like under his head oh you're right but then probably. yes more blood starts dripping on his but it's coming face. from above and i was like where's that coming from yeah and it was from this uh, goggles i believe was his name mm. um and probably because he was the one that was always on lookout on the goggles yeah yeah and so um he's just making this weird face and like screams at her and she's just obviously you can tell already there's a setup that she's not like the other girls yeah. or the other guys yeah 
She um she wants more to caring. Be, she, she wants to be, be normal. Where the people are. Oh yeah, she's, she's the Ariel, Ariel, literally. Um, she wants to be part of his world. Yeah, and <clears throat> she just wants a boyfriend. And so, uh, yeah, we have that happening. Is he it's eating sh- one of the dog's legs? Yeah, and he's eating a dog's okay. like the dog's leg. I was yeah. like, I think it's, it's the beauty dog's leg. Do- yeah, it's Beauty's yeah, leg. So sad. Yeah, he's eating her leg, That's and so he gross. just lets out like a little hoot. And then um, we and get he just laughs. we get a different scene um, than where we Doug is walking. He's singing this little ditty, and he ends up coming across um, all these craters, a nuclear site. explosion site. But there's like vehicles, and like it looks like a little like car graveyard, mm-hmm. basically. It was giving me text chainsaw master. Yeah, House of Wax, like everywhere. Uh, the if wrong there's turn. There's abandoned cars. Go away. Literally, because like they're they're there because. Hello. Now I'm thinking of the dead. time that Nancy and I broke into that car yard to like take some photos. And I'm like, oh my God. It, the, the grass was like four feet high. Mm-hmm. I was like covered in chicker bites afterwards. Oh my God. And yeah. oh God, we could have been murdered. You could have. Oh. And so <laughs> he obviously sees all this stuff. It's pretty weird. He, I guess, doesn't think much of it. We see blood on some of the cards. But, anyways, he's just uh, like, look at all this cool stuff I found. And literally. I was, oh, when he picked up the teddy bear, I was like, Please don't give that shit to your daughter. You have no clue what is on that. Uh, yeah. It's uh, been sitting out here in the dust. It, it, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Why are you not more concerned about all of these empty vehicles? Doug's not thinking about it. He's just like, ooh, free stuff. Really? And so he, they, we get uh, every the gang um, who stayed behind at the RV. They're all going to bed. Bobby's like, oh, we're not going to wait up for dad. And they're like, no, they're going to like be here in a little bit or whatever, whatever. Right. Or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, he's and we oh, flash to Bob. We Bob getting into the store. And that's when he's at the store because it's nightfall. Um, Grab and some water like we talked about. And mm-hmm. then he goes into the room and reads all the news clippings on the wall. And so it's yeah. kind of giving us yet another more and more insight mm-hmm. of what is happening in the movie, which I think is a pretty clever way to do it with mm-hmm. those little news clippings. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of see some of the mutations that have happened. There's pictures. It and gives you the info without having the need to like have another scene where someone's talking about yeah. it or explaining it. Which yeah. at the end when they get said yet another one with that b- guy, I was like, okay, we get, we it. get it. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah same. But uh, th- he goes weird son of a bitch. And I was like, sir, you, you just read your future like Literally. disappearances near the mines disappearances in the desert and, blah 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 and, and I'm he's like, a fucking detective and yeah. so at this point nothing's giving him that much like pause i guess not as much as it should anyways I like think. that was literally like one of those little boards with the red lines connecting things mm-hmm. red string like mm-hmm. sir no come on yeah have a little bit more brain power <laughs> and so um he then at this point gets out of the place and he's go. he finds a car and he's trying to get mm-hmm. the car started. But then he hears someone talking and it's obviously the attendant, the gas station man, whatever you want to call him. And he's in the outhouse. So you can see his little feet sticking out and he's yeah. just babbling. Yeah. And so Nonsense. Then, it does sound like he's drunk and mm-hmm. clearly he is. Yeah. And then the dad is like, OK, well, I'm going to go check this out. I was like, no, get the car started and just get away from him. Get the car started. Yeah. You can come back and apologize later. For stealing his car. <laughs> for real. Yeah. And so anyways, he ends up getting out. He goes and he opens the door, obviously. And it's uh, him babbling. Mm-hmm. And he's like saying this is no place to raise kids. And then he's like, but I tried. And then we get this really um, cool, gruesome scene of. I um, wonder who his kids were. I, I know, right? Was Ruby? I don't know. Maybe not. Mm. Or probably. Maybe that could have been his daughter. Because he honestly looked kind of normal. Yeah, he did. He just had some else. like. It looked like chemical burns and stuff on his neck. Mm -hmm. Um, But other than that. And then the last guy who got blown up. um, Yeah, at Jupiter. Jupiter. He didn't seem too. No, mm -hmm. he looked pretty normal. Yeah, or relative to normal. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, he ends up taking a shotgun to his head. Yep. And and it's right there. Full frontal. You see it. Mm -hmm. You see it. They don't like pan away or anything. It's like the practical effects is pretty. I mean, it's pretty pretty fast, but like. It was, it was like, okay, yeah. they did that. There and was a uh, lot of this movie where my face was like, Ooh, yeah. Uh. So he gets, uh, he blows his head off and it's like completely blowed off. And you get this really cool scene of like the top frame and then it goes back to it. And you just see like his body with the neck and bloody then like everything just head. like, yeah, bloody stump. That's a good way to put it. And then you hear someone going, daddy, 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 daddy. daddy. And, and it's uh, like, Ooh, that, that was so fucking creepy. Mm-hmm. I was like, no. Nah. 
because the whispering kind of sounded like it was coming from multiple places, mm -hmm. which I do think it was. There were Probably. multiple people there. Yeah. And ugh, just the way that it was like, daddy. And I think daddy. it was Jupiter, I think, was the one. Or was it Lizard? It might have been Lizard, Jupiter. Probably both there, but I think. Yeah, I remember at one point they were like, Pluto, give me that gun mm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Pluto, so here, according to the, Pluto was the guy who gets stabbed in the neck. The big guy, superhuman gotcha. strength. Um, and then that makes that is so funny that the irony of them calling him Pluto when Pluto is like the smallest planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was like the biggest one there. Lizard was the guy with mm -hmm. the like that, tooth brought at up. At the end. Goggle yeah. was, was the one with the nose kind of thing. And Voldemort nose. Voldemort, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Papa Jupiter was someone. There's a Papa Jupiter. Cyst was someone. Uh, maybe Cyst was the one with the thing on his like the back brace oh like yeah thing. possibly there's big mama big brain mm -hmm. small deformed child oh yeah uh jupiter yeah, yeah yeah he he was the one with the long hair who got blown up papa jupiter papa jupiter mm -hmm. and Anyways, so we yeah, have you don't really get to know th their names really too much no, 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 no. yeah and so we have um oh this is where he completely loses his chill go. though yeah. he's like shooting into the dark and i'm like Bro, you are wasting all of your bullets. That happens a lot in this movie. Yes. Yeah, which I'm. Bob does it. Bobby does it too, and I'm like, so many times. Stop! <laughs> like it's the way that he starts shooting when he's like not even like he's running away and he's just shooting behind him. Yeah. Like, I'm like, bro. If you're gonna do that, turn around, get one good shot. Like, and then wait for him to be right in front of you. Like, pop. yeah, because they're obviously not stopping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, we have um dad dad dad's dead at this point. He yeah, gets, uh, he yeah. gets pretty bloodied up. They're taking him into the mines. We get mm -hmm. a shot of him being rolled in, and he's he like, just like gives Whoa. up. He just passes out basically. Yeah, I mean he's covered in blood, and mm -hmm. that shot of him being covered in blood while he's being wheeled into the mines was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I liked mm -hmm. it. I was like, yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stylistic choices for this movie. Yeah. Which is basically just a gruesome bloodbath. But um, we have then um, them back at the, uh, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at the RV setting there. Uh, is it Lynn? Lynn goes out to go search for Bobby. And she ends up finding, finding Bobby out there. Yeah. And then um, they have him back in the RV. They're cleaning him up. The mom is. And he isn't really giving them information of what he what happened out there, but he's you can tell he's freaked out. Mm -hmm. And um, they're like gonna go to bed, but he's like giving vibes of like freaked out. <laughs> but yeah. he's not telling them what. They're kind of like, what's wrong with Bobby? And, and they said that they heard like weird breathing on the radio that's right. mm -hmm. and stuff. And it's like, why are none of you taking this more seriously? Yeah, that, like Bobby's really the only one that's kind of being like. There's something wrong. The, out yeah, here. which and of course he's not sharing all the information, which is a mistake on his the part. Because I feel if he would have shared that at that point, maybe something different could have happened. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, probably not though. And so, um, uh, and then we have him. Beast outside. goes and finds beauty. Yeah, because Beast gets out. Beast gets out. Goes and finds beauty. That's um, so sad. He's like then, whimpering. Um, this is where I put. I hope Doug dies soon. I don't know what he did, but I just hope he dies. Well, he came back, and that's whenever Bobby almost shot him. Oh, and yeah. then he's like, put, your, put that damn gun away. And then Doug gives them like the teddy bears and like all these things. And it's like, look what I found. I think that's was why I was like, all. I hope he dies. Yeah. Because like, I was like. It was like, a, he's like, oh, I guess they use a big old crater and like as a dump. Yeah. Sure. And then it, the way he spoke to Bobby and was like, like, it was just kind mm -hmm. of degrading, mm -hmm. not degrading. Um, He was just, just talking dick. down to him. Yeah. yeah. And it was, I don't know. He and was so annoying the fuck out of me. Because then he's like, Bobby's like, oh, I, I think he also said something to Lynn. Dad. I want, yeah. That I was like, probably. No. And he's like, I want to wait for dad. And Doug's like, well, if he's not back by midnight, we can go looking for him. And so, anyways, they all try to go to bed. Did I don't understand Bobby, how any of them are sleeping in that situation. I don't either. Bobby is not sleeping at all. You know, it's the way that he's like shining his light on his mom. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Because you can't point that anywhere else. Um, I would have been like, you little fuck, mm -hmm. stop. And then. Because <laughs> you could see her eyes kind of twitching mm -hmm. too and so at that point we then have he hears a bark and mm -hmm. so he thinks it's beast and so he goes out and he's like calling for beast and he gets a pretty good while away from the trailer and the bark turns into like laughter because it wasn't beast barking yeah. it was uh, one of the people i don't know who it was and because he just kind of ran off mm -hmm. and left the fucking door open and yeah. then pluto gets in the trailer and he gets back there and 
like gets to Brenda. Oh, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, I, and it's the way Ethel no one not wake up. notices. Yeah. Because then he sets off the little bomb thing. That's right. Because he's like, no, or it's the time. Yeah. Like that. And it's uh, they they wrapped up. <laughs> Poor Bob to like a cactus and yeah. set it on fire. It's like so a he's, crucifixion he's scene. He's burning and he's screaming. They're all like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it's the way that there's no partition or anything really. So they, no. for some reason, just did not see him back, back there. there at all. Yeah. And poor Brenda is like being held down with his mouth or her mouth being covered. So they can't hear her screaming. And he's like making like really gross like looks at her mm-hmm. and like pulling up the blanket and looking Trying at look her at, area, yeah. her no no square. And we have them all freaking out outside because they're like dad's on fucking fire. Yeah, dad just got lit up and like the fourth of Doug July. Doug gets a <laughs> fire extinguisher, but then like his <laughs> is yeah, like, like five uh, like is like twenty feet away from him I'm trying to extinguish him. Like he's not even close to him yeah. from my perspective, at least I thought. And so, anyways, I was like, Doug is in cahoots. Yeah. And so, um, that's whenever all that, it's like, it's pretty chaotic. Yeah. And Lizard slips in during all this Mm -hmm. chaos. And this is where he he bites a little birdie's head off. Yeah. He bites the birdie's head off. That scene was like, what? And then we have him. He pours the blood in his mouth. It's gross. And we have him going over to Pluto and is like. Um, you have to be a man. To, yeah, Pluto's in, like almost pretty much R word to Brenda, and then like mm-hmm. that's when he says that and he takes over and he starts like really messing with Brenda. And I think honestly, did it happen? I think I think it did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Um, yes, he yeah. sexually assaulted mm-hmm. her, or yes. at least like I mean, you see him unbuckling his pants, you see her turned over, trigger There's, warning, like some like motion, and yeah, yeah. Um, so and it's the way that she has her like hands on the blinds kind of thing. It's like. Ah, yeah. yeah, so I'm pretty sure that happened. Um, and so we have... Um, and then Lynn walks in because she hears... She finally hears some screaming. The baby. She and hears the, the baby, baby cooing. That's right. Crying. crying. And so then she goes over there and she's like, oh my God. And she sees all that happening. She um, then... Um, Lizard. fights back a little bit. Yeah, she does Lizard have some fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's the way that she does end up stabbing Lizard. But and, um, oh God, he, he was like licking her face, and then I think he was like sucking her breast. Yeah, he was literally sucking the milk out of her breast because yeah. she was breastfeeding earlier. Yeah, so he is getting and breastfed. Fucking. Eth- the mom gross. walks in with the rock, but it's like, what are you gonna do? And he ends up shooting her, and she like flies back. Yeah, she into does. The back of the RV. Boom. Yeah, and um, mama. mom's fucked. And this is where Lynn stabs stabs, him. Yeah, Lynn stabs him in the foot. That's right. But then he, like, gets the gun and shoots her in the head. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's pretty fast. I mean, it painted the walls. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty gruesome scene Mm because even at the same time, you have have poor Brenda Brenda, watching everything. Her mom and sister be murdered. murdered. As she just, like, got, like, sexually assaulted. Mm -hmm. And, um... Everybody's pretty much dying in there. I was um, so upset because Lynn was like the only one who was kind of actually like trying doing to do something. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so, but that gave very Lynn's character. Yeah. Like I was already like this family was etched out pretty much from the get go. We mm-hmm. got Lynn, the oldest, like responsible child. And then we have Bobby, the like middle kind of rambunctious, trying to He's prove himself, child. trying to prove himself <laughs> child. And then we have Brenda, who was just a little brat. She's yeah. a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so um, we have basically then Doug and Bobby. Uh, Bobby are like, oh, crap, something's going on at the trailer. And then we have Lizard they hear and the Pluto coming out with uh, Brenda. And he tries to shoot Brenda, but the gun doesn't go off. He's out of bullets. And he goes, I'll come back for, for you. you. Yep. And then yeah, it's pretty much they end up walking, running away. And Bobby's trying to shoot at them, but he's not hitting them at all. Um, and then... Basically, they're kind of freaked out because then they end up getting into the trailer. Mom is dead. Lynn well, is dead. Well, she's not dead yet. It's, well, it's a fake death. She pops up. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mom is shot. Yeah. Um, and then Lynn is like, pops How up. How the fuck she was still alive? I, I have no know. clue. And then she dies. But people do survive, actually. Like, there are or it's like m- a- many cases where mm-hmm. people survive being shot in the head, mm. where just the bullets enter and exit without hitting any of the major spots in your Tissue. brain, and you can how. you can live. That's it's crazy. wild. Yeah. It's like certain receptors in your brain that once those are hit, you're like, I mean, mm-hmm. any like your prefrontal cortex, mm-hmm. I think. Well, and it did look like it was more like here, maybe it was. Yeah, it was like through the top mm-hmm. left of her brain. And so um, we have then 
uh, him, Doug, realizing that the baby was taken away. And they're all kind of like, what do we do now? What do we do now? And Doug's like, I don't know. And then Bobby wants to go out and he's like, you're going to get killed if you go out there. Just we have to have a plan. And then um, this is where we get Beast killing Voldemort. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, goggles. And then uh, we have. Then we're back in the RV. We're watching the mom die. And it's really fucking sad. Yeah. Because she's like. Did everyone go to bed? Then like, did, is Big Bob home yet? And mm-hmm. is Lenny Lynn sleeping? Sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, she's, and she's like, I need to get it. It's cold. And she was like, you're so sweet. I understand why Lenny loves you. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is really sad. She was acting. She was acting for her life she there. Was. She had to get the rent paid. Yep. And, and so she died. she died. And then um, I believed it. They're all like, wow. Yeah, it was a really believable death scene. And then um, that's whenever... Bobby loses his shit. Yeah, that's the time. My bad. Bobby loses his shit. He's like, he wants to go out there and do something about it. But he's like, Doug I don't fucking like, care if I die, mm-hmm. which is like, well, yeah, same. I wouldn't in that situation either. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, I've just watched all of my family get massacred. My mm-hmm. dad lit on fire mm-hmm. on a cactus. Yeah. Mom gets shot through. She just died. Sister shot in the head. Like, nah, fuck this. Yeah. But Doug is in like, we need a plan. We can't go just go doing that. You're not going to last like three minutes out there or something like that, he said. And so um, we have them kind of regrouping, I guess, in a sense. But then that's whenever they hear not too long after that, they hear something outside of the. Yeah, it's, of the, a, it's a radio. The radio, that's they right. They hear someone they radioing. Hear the radio and they're like. Saying goggle. 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 Mm-hmm. So they go out there and once again, uh, he Bobby is bullets. wasting bullets shooting, shooting through, through the trailer. The they go out there and that's whenever. He picks up the damn freaking um, arm arm, <laughs> and he gets the little radio thing. And then they think they hear something under the trailer. Bobby shoots again, but then Beast comes out and um, they're like, oh, my God, Beast, such a good boy. Thank you for coming back. And then we hear um, them talking, the, the crazy people talking over the radio. And that's whenever, which I don't get why Bobby or Doug did it. Because I'm like, why would you... Th- th- it could have been an asset yeah. to like hear them and What's know what their plans on? are. But yeah. yet he gets on them. He's like, why are you doing this to us? What do you want from us? And so now they know that Give you know that baby. you're listening to them. And they then put they put the Catherine on the, the line. thing. And you just say the baby crying. So they're just fucking <laughs> they're with them like, at that point. They're like, here you go. Catherine yeah. wants to speak to you. <laughs> and so that's whenever <laughs> they come up with the plan. Uh, Bobby and Miss Brenda are going to stay back at the RV. And Doug's going to go, he goes off to find them with Beast. And mm-hmm. I just don't understand what he expects to do with like a bat and a gun. Yeah, I don't know. Against h- however many people. Whatever he, he has been no seeing. clue. Yeah. But he's already, two people were, well, I guess he didn't see the two people in there though. Mm-hmm. And, but I mean, ultimately you hear other people on the line. You could hear multiple people you talking. Just, you're walking in blind. Yeah. And you have, yeah. And you're one person up against however many people who clearly are, quite skilled at killing people yeah because they killed three of your people already like would i have would you have separated i don't think so no i think we should have all uh, stuck together but but i feel like my they baby been, was out there but i feel like they would have been a liability as well if they would have walked on with like three people as opposed to one person in stealth mode yeah like, if that makes sense but i don't know i also don't feel like if they would have gone he would have ended up in the cooler yeah no i don't think so um, also, he wouldn't have ended up in the cooler if he would have just took that free kill, but he didn't. Yeah, fucking loser. But also, she was pretty, uh, she was built strong. Yeah, she was. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he didn't know if anyone else was in there. Or, we already know someone else is outside wandering around. So he can't and like, so, make noise and stuff. Yeah, if, mm-hmm. he, if he goes and shoots her or something, it's going to draw attention to the house. Sure. He was hopefully just trying to get out unseen, unheard, mm-hmm. but obviously that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, he's going in, he gets into the mines and mm-hmm. stuff. I think well, we find some like old the blood graves, follows, yeah, we see too, graves of all the people. little roller skate and a mm-hmm. photograph, like kind of as the marker. Um, yeah. And they like, he's getting in there and then it flashes back and they're booby trapping the place around the trailer, which yeah. is cool. The and then, Bobby and uh, Brenda. Yeah. And then I was wondering why I was like, why is it called a booby trap? because i was like what the fuck oh you googled it yeah and it's basically just uh it gives rise to the idea that an individual with the misfortune to be caught in the trap does so because the individual is a booby Mm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. like a little dumbfounded like a little little dummy little dummy basically and i was like you're a boob that's funny you're a boob 
Um, Why would they equate that with the woman's body part? And that yeah, seems to stem even deeper. Yeah, it does. Um, and so we, <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> I'd be like, anyways. So we have him then coming out the other side of the cave hills um thing, and it's an, it basically comes out to the an entrance of a town. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little town, and, and he tried to radio back to them too but and they were out telling the them like place. hey like there's a whole town out Beating here whatever, whatever bobby bobby but they don't radio back to him and so we have them him then like going into the town there's a few fake houses it's kind of like set up where it was like the mannequin stuff it's and like atomic a fake city. atomic city like you mentioned earlier and he sees this one dude who's pulling a body so he's like hide in a vehicle and he leaves uh, beast in the vehicle which i would not have left beast yeah in the vehicle. i was like why the fuck would you leave the dog because that's that like your biggest asset to me. but anyways and also can we just talk about how creepy it is to be walking around with all those mannequins and like you don't know which one would be real which one's real yeah, yeah. out of the corner of your eye like you, you think see everything's real someone and, and you're like oh fuck and then you're like oh it's just a mannequin yeah. but then like one of the times it's got to be real and mm-hmm. it's just ugh. it's scary that's just got to put you on like Creep heightened factor. red alert and just yeah so creepy and so he ends up finding a house that has like um radiator outside or whatever so he's like Mm -hmm. okay people are in here so he goes into it and he ends up seeing the baby miss Catherine. but it's also kind of being watched by this big old um what was her name big mama or something like that yeah i think it was big mama she was brushing her wig Mm -hmm. uh which was uh, this woman but she's like really like big size she's like, strong she's like a strong lady yeah big mama and she got she got big bones and so anyways he ends up getting the baby and he's trying to sneak out without making any noise but um the floorboards are creeping when he makes it down the hallway into i also like, feel like she saw his area, reflection in the, the tv yeah um he ends up getting knocked out by her he like makes he just makes it and he turns and mm-hmm. he's like and bam and so then we have doug waking up in a cooler mm-hmm. yeah and um he's in there with other body parts he lights a match and he's like freaking out because he then sees everything around him and yeah. oh god it is so gross he's i know just, it smelled something foul in there uh, it was so many of just like legs and mm-hmm. like body a, pieces cut up blood ahead head by his head and, and it's not that even also a pretty gave head me, yeah no it also gave me very texas chainsaw massacre mm-hmm. vibes and he ends up freaking out so much that he's like hitting the top of it and ends up being he ends up able to get out and break out of it. Um, did something happen before that? Because they're like no. cutting. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so base, it had flashed back to the trailer. But and there's stuff, not much. But yeah, yeah. It's just them making more booby traps. Mm-hmm. The fishing pole came in handy. Because yeah. at one point, Lennon said, what are we going to do, do with a fishing pole in the desert? And you know, it, they it made it. It was Lore, part of the booby trap. Almost, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so um, we have the Doug getting out and he comes across. He hears someone singing the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. And it's Ugly Wheelchair Dude. He sees Bob at the oh, end of the God. table with, with the, the flag, flag in his head. Mm-hmm. Sitting there like with the family. And this again gave Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes. And they gave me um, House of Wax as well. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, someone's singing the Star Spangled Banner, which it's always so creepy when someone takes a song that's supposed to be not that Star Spangled Banner is like happy, but like a child song and then turns like evil. Yeah. Basically. And like the, it's such a song that's in like commonplace with us. I mean, here in America. America. And so then to hear it in this setting is like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. But yeah, then he he turns the corner and we see uh, the guy in the wheelchair, big brain, I think, or something. But yeah. I was like, yo, this guy was in Star, Bo- Star Wars. It is big brain. Look, he looked like this mother, Bib Fortuna. <laughs> oh, I get what you mean. When I mm-hmm. saw it, I was like, this motherfucker was in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, and it's the way, like, <laughs> the, oh, he was so <laughs> gross looking. Um, and it's so. It's him. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's his evolved evolution look. <laughs> And so we have um, <laughs> the dude is then giving him more information of like your people destroyed our city and like exposed us to nuclear whatever whatever. So this is why we kill you. And then and it's like this fucking Doug had nothing to do with that yeah, shit. Like at like, all. Come it's on, stop blaming them. This was your blame yourself for not fucking your getting par- out and your family, your parents, because this was also from the forties. So it had to been like his. I don't even know. Yeah, and why? Know. I'm I'm sorry. What's so important about the mines? 
Like, why do you have to you stay moved. You in the moved. mines? You could have moved. You weren't that poor. Yeah. You, you weren't all that. No. And I'm it's, sure they it's were offering lots uh, of money to relocate people. I just, it's the thing about people. They just don't want to leave their fucking property. It's so stupid. Like, when, like, hurricanes and all that shit happen, people are like, no, I'm going to stick it out. This is my home. I'm not leaving nah, it. Like, get the fuck out of there. Mean, literally. And so, anyways, um, we have him doing all that, but then Pluto busts through the fucking whatever and starts attacking. Yeah, he starts laughing, and uh-huh. then he's like, why are you laughing? It's and he goes, it's breakfast, breakfast time. time. <laughs> and he starts attacking Doug, and then Doug Comes is basically at this door. point just dodging and ducking and dipping and diving, trying to get away <laughs> from the knife that's conniving. Ooh, I rhymed. And I so um, he ends up going into like oh beast comes in and saves uh is like starts attacking uh pluto and doug is able to get away and get into a restroom and it's the way that he's kind of just chilling he moves that ceramic like cloth tub them things are heavy yeah they are and so i was like how the fuck did you just do that but he he did he moved it and put it up against the door but it's the way that uh, pluto doesn't need doors i know okay wait hold on though Mm -hmm. (laughs) the use of the heartbeat there was so good so there was no music it was just boom boom Boom, it boom, got so quiet. Boom, 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 they did that a boom, lot boom, of times boom, boom, since boom, movie boom, boom. too. Yeah, and it got faster scare. and faster. And I was like, "Ooh, that was that was pretty good because it it makes you with the quickening like heartbeat. It makes yours yeah. do the same. You yeah. mirror it, and you're like, oh fuck, oh fuck, something about to happen.' Mm-hmm. And then yeah, he just he just comes through the fucking wall, which I imagine I was like, I was like, okay, a he's got that superhuman strength, but I'm like, this also was like houses that were like fake they're yeah, yeah yeah they're not really built to be the most stable and then there's no insulation there's no like two things it was like one wall yeah like, it looks like sh- just one thing of sheetrock yeah and he just busted through it yeah he comes through it he ends up attacking doug they have this little moment where they're fighting there's like these partitions i don't know plastic things mm. ceramic things coming down from this little roof and so um okay very uh, remind me of i know um I K W Y D D L S, and so um, he ends up being able to oh, because he has he has his bat. It gets snapped in half, but he uses the snapped half and like stabs Pluto. But yeah, right into Pluto, tummy. Pluto is big mad after this. Yeah, and is like, oh, you really want to play, and just starts throwing Doug around, and it's pretty brutal. And he pulls it out too. It's, he just kind of oh yeah. It's the way that after he stabs him, he just kind of stops and he looks at it, and then he just grabs it and is like yeah pulls it out and then at yeah. that point doug had a really felt opportunity to just like uh, and like yeah. run with him against the wall and then like as he's like then dip i don't know and uh, and also honestly too like grab the pickaxe yeah but i don't know and so then yeah doug's getting just, just ravaged mm-hmm. pretty much he the he ooh, is thrown he's around getting just the life kicked out of him like he and literally picks him up by the foot and, and just, just like, like a rat dog through, through a wall a window and yeah. he falls through glass and then like onto the floor and table i don't know and so then he gets underneath the table um we get uh his fingers chopped off yeah his fingers chopped off pluto is pretty much got him you know where he wants him he's about to like slice his neck but then doug is like you know playing into the like victim and he's like please don't kill me please don't kill me and it you looks can tell like he just gives up that pluto is like really relishing in it and then as soon as like pluto kind of takes like a second too long to do a final blow mm-hmm. and is distracted doug gets um om- just like um Lynn mm-hmm. with G- the a lizard, he gets the American flag that he pull out of Doug. Or no, it was a screwdriver. Yeah, he gets the screwdriver, stabs then, it in his foot. And then Lynn had stabbed lizard in the leg, I think. Mm-hmm, that's right. And he stabbed him in the foot. And Pluto screams and he's like, oh my God. And then that's whenever Doug is able to grab the American flag thing. Through from Bob's head. And he stabs, uh, what's his face? Pluto. Pluto in the back of the neck, right? All the way through? Yep. 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 It comes through. You get, you get <laughs> the... <laughs> end of the flag poking through like the end of the flag pole mm-hmm. per se it's like one of those little ones it was on bob's it was on the car the, the car yeah. it was on the truck at the beginning so it's yeah. one of those little ones and it's like a stake almost yeah stabbed yeah. through the neck and then the flag's just like yeah flap, flap on the back and then we have him grabbing the pickaxe i think at that point yep. or something and, and he, he triple taps this motherfucker mm-hmm. on the head which is perfect um perfect beautiful kill he ends up killing good. him that's whenever the little big brain is like whoa 
killed the baby. Mm -hmm. And he sends that order. And then Doug, I guess, doesn't see the big brain as a threat. So he just like walks out. But then yeah. we have Beast coming and he. A yeah, dental dude. He. Uh, That's what I kept calling him. Oh, dental dude. And then he, <laughs> even though I think it was like a back brace, but it also kind of looked like. Oh, that dude. Yeah. A yeah dental. Yeah. Well, and, and we get Beast killing um the dude in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. And then we have after that. Doug is out there and he ends up killing that dude with the back brace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He whacks him in the leg with the, the knee and then he gets mm -hmm. the back and then he gets the tiny ax side to yep. the face. He, he flips it around. That was a cool scene. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, hell yeah. Cause at this point I was like, okay, Doug's, Doug's, Doug's going being pretty off. badass. Doug yeah. is like at this point, like, nah, He's I'm like, done. I'm fighting my baby bitches. I'm for real. Y'all are all fucking with me now. Mm -hmm. uh, telecommunications is about to get your ass. Yep. And so, um, we then have, uh, what, Ru uh, at that point, what happens? So this is, yeah, that's where, because um, after that is when uh, Big Brain says, like, kill the baby and mm -hmm. stuff. And he says, lizard, kill the baby. And then I saw r the red jacket and Ruby, and I was like, wait, is that lizard? And then, so no, she was thankfully stealing Catherine, the, that's right, the baby. Yeah. And lizard was like, get out of here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and she replaced the... Uh, the baby with the pig with the pig that they found at the beginning That's i right. believe mm -hmm. at um the at the gas station gas station yeah and so then we have her running off with the baby lizard's like oh fuck and, and ruby yeah and then um we have why did i have mom got taken who's mom i don't know why i have mom got oh, oh she was stolen that's from, right because they're back at the rv mm -hmm. mom's body gets taken by jupiter or someone and then we have oh and before this too he had walked into that room and it's got the little scene with the kids going mister would you play with us i would have shot them kids in yeah the head, tbh <laughs> i would have shot them in the head i, I would have like cool scene, i would have uh, it's the way that no no survivors. Mm -hmm. They need to be taken out because they're all doing something bad. Yeah. Even the kids. And so. But yes, they're back now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow up to be bad probably. Yeah. Uh, but so, the booby trap's going off. Mm -hmm. And that's when we see that mom's been stolen. And uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, they see some motherfucker eating her. Yeah. The 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 Bobby, sees. Bobby sees Jupiter eating her. And then he ends up running back to the, to the RV. And that's whenever they get. And this Jupiter. is where he's running like that. Shooting, shooting behind, behind him, him with not even looking like a dumbass. Yeah. And then we have him finally um there in the RV and then Jupiter Ooh. attacks and they're and when able he throws that axe. And oh, it, it almost I thought him. he was about to die. Yeah, I was like, oh fuck. Whenever we saw him winding up, I was like, Oh, there goes Bobby. Yeah. And then it just missed him. Watch just like, ah. barely. <laughs> and then we have him, Jupiter ends up getting, they use a uh, bungee cord type of things and mm. get him like tied onto the to the window. To the window. And they Jupiter doesn't see them leaving out the side window on the other end or the back window and they are able to get out. He thinks they're still in there. And so they've set some he major know, booby, booby traps, trap, which is like these matches and like taped and like, anyways, he ends up opening the door which, and it sets off a whole explosion. Yeah. Cause they had the propane the tanks like opening opened. And so it was leaking gas in there. And then, yeah, the way they had these matches like taped up and then the lights, the mm -hmm. whatever the strip is called. I don't, I don't know. know what it's called. Little but yeah. fire strip thing. Mm -hmm that you scratch it on, on the door. And so whenever you slid the door open, it lit all the matches and then setting the explosion. Fire, which really you only needed one of those to work. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was open pretty flame. cool. Mm -hmm. But then also like, there goes your only oh, source yeah. of cover. And yeah, literally. Cause the car is going to blow up too. So it's like, now you're exposed. Yeah. Yeah. And so we have them kind of like, yay, we did that. And then they go back to the RV. Right. And he's still alive. Yeah, it, I don't think they went back uh, Just yet? quite no. yet. Yeah, oh, because that's cause Doug, we have Doug. We right? go back to Dougie chasing mm -hmm. after Catherine and Ruby, mm -hmm. and um, Ruby's like, whenever he gets to her, she's she, gonna give him the baby. Yeah, she's like, please take it. Like, mm -hmm. and then she's trying to be nice, and I'm so thankful that he didn't just like shoot her immediately because yeah. I was really worried that he would. Mm -hmm. Um, and you have lizard jumping from up top but and yeah, ambushing him. Lizard fucking jumps. They're on him. fighting. He is kind of fucking up Doug a little bit. Um, yeah, well, because that's a fucking cool weapon, like mm -hmm. high key. Those little road spikes, those tire spikes yeah. again. It's like a little spine. Very much so. And it's a whip. Yeah, with yeah, it's pretty cool. Cutting them up, and so they end up getting into a fight. Um, and just as we think that uh, Doug is out for the count, and Lizard yeah, starts chasing, this where I put reaping damn, Catherine again. I'm kind of sad that he got taken out. <laughs> um, we have him getting back up. He goes and he did his wedding ring give him strength there. 
I have no idea. It looked like it because just through his bandage you, hand of his fingers, like being chopped ring. off, you can see the wedding ring. And he's like looking at it because it pans in on his hand. Mm-hmm. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I didn't think about it that way. But yeah, I think I think that cheesy. is what gave him yeah. strength. Oh, it yeah. Was he was just like, but still, he's like, I'm going to do this for my wife and I got to save the baby. Yeah. And um, yeah, he ends up getting up. He ends up being able to shoot Lizard. Um, and Lizard's down. Um, he doesn't triple tap like he should. Yeah, but I was like, come on, because they only shoot shot him. him again. They only shot him in like right here, the chest, and then like probably and, over here. Yeah, but not. In and the he head. had the perfect opportunity because he was lying face down. He walks up to his body, and it's like, dude, yeah, shoot, shoot him, him in the motherfucking <clears throat> head. But he just kind of kicks him with his foot, and it's like. Yeah. And then he drops the fucking gun. Yeah. Right next to him. The moment that happened, I was like, oh, fucking come on. I was like, this bitch going to get up. Yeah. And then he's sitting there holding Catherine to his bloody body. And the mm-hmm. baby at first is like, ew. I don't, I don't touch you. <laughs> and then we have I'd Lizard. I'd also be like, who the fuck are you? Is not dead. And no. he gets up, obviously. And he's about to shoot um him and the baby. But that's when we have Ruby, like, really... Uh, <laughs> Her character arc comes full circle and she just jumps in the way and takes him down and they fall off the cliff. And yeah, she adult. sacrifices hopefully, herself. Have, yeah, yeah. Hopefully she's not dead. She did land on top of him. Yeah, she did land on top of him. So hopefully maybe she's, she's just, just unconscious. Unconscious. And we'll wake up later. That's what I was hoping for and, too. Um, poor Ruby. Yeah. And then we have him being able to get back to uh, and this Brenda is where it, yeah, Bobby. It had gone back and we see that homeboy's still alive. Oh, that's right. They end up killing him. Well, Brenda does because she's like, fuck you. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> Yeah, I loved it. I was like, "Get him, Brenda!" And then we have uh, Doug coming back with the baby, like through the flames. They're all reunited. Yeah, he's got the dog beast. And which I'm like, did he go back to get beast on this leash? I guess I don't know how (laughs) that even happened. And then we have them being reunited. It's like we think, "Oh, yes, we're out of the woods," Mm -hmm. but then we get pan out, and they're still being watched. Yep, by some goggles. And I was like. That, that's a good ending. Mm-hmm. I liked the way it ended. I I love one that leaves you not knowing yeah. what yeah. the fuck's like if they made it out or not. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, still being watched. And then the credits, the credits were really good. Yeah. Like with the red. And I really like that, like kind of bluesy um, old time like kind of country song. Mm-hmm. And it was it was really good. I was like, oh, these are actually some pretty nice credits. I kind of wanted to keep watching it. And then I was like, oh, wait, I got to get here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. That's, so And that's the Hills Have Eyes. Hills Have Eyes, 2006 version. Pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Um, what I would think it was you, a pretty good movie, to be honest. Yeah, it's what pretty would you gruesome give it? if you don't mind the gore. But like, other than that, it's because honestly, the whole time I was honestly anxious. I was like, oh, oh yeah. No. I was like, oh, don't, don't come on. Wait. Do something. Yeah, like I was on the edge of my seat. I was too. Um, I would give this movie. <laughs> oh, a 4.3? 4.3? 3. I was trying to figure out why I knew um, Vanessa, who played uh, Lynn so yeah, much. Yeah, she's on something. I've she's seen in her. Hocus Pocus. She's on Lake Placid. Oh, she is on Hocus Pocus. Uh-huh. She is the the love interest. You're mm-hmm. right. Yep. <coughs> yeah. She's in she's in quite a few yeah. films. Um, but yeah, she was in Hocus Pocus. That's definitely where I'm remembering mm. her from. Um 4.3. Yeah. Why four, is that? 4.3. I really um enjoyed uh people getting mutilated and yeah. eaten, right? No. Um <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a pretty decent story. I thought, you know, other than like and especially in like honor of like the hills of eyes, the hills of eyes really, I guess you're exploiting people's like uh, deformities and stuff like that, and kind of yeah. stigmatizing that. But also like it's just kind of more in, like I don't see other things like that really, other mm-hmm. than like like it inspired everything that came after that is like it. Yeah. When we get like wrong turn and we get like all these other mm-hmm. movies, um. So I just thought it's like it's pretty de- decent concept. Like yeah, like we that did happen. Like radioactive, like nuclear fallout, and what yeah. would happen if people were exposed to this and then like turn into these people that then are just going to kill people. Like Mm -hmm. that was a pretty cool story. That are cannibals. Yeah. Yeah. I I thought the deaths were pretty gnarly. The practical effects were like really cool. Um, visually, um, honestly, I got everybody's character from the get go. Yeah. The characters, like I got it. They did a good job of fleshing that out without even going hardcore into it. The mom, even the mom, like just mm-hmm. the, the, her jargon and then like being, you know, so kind of more like, you know, 
I don't know what the word wholesome. I don't know. Yeah, and then conservative. Like, <coughs> you got conservative, your Christian, you go. nice Southern lady. And then like, even with the uh, the inbred cannibals, um, mm-hmm. there was a pretty good like. You had the big strong one. You had the one that kind of seemed more like brainy, and you had like he was kind of uh, behind all of the operation. Yeah, the lizard guy, and then you had yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was pretty fleshed out, and we also got like that little. I liked and enjoyed Ruby's storyline yeah. of her like being not like them and helping them out and giving yeah. back Catherine and like realize knowing or feeling like this is none of this, this is, is not okay. right. Yeah. yeah, we shouldn't be doing this, hurting these people. Like because these people, she, I'm sure, realized that. These people had nothing to do with what mm-hmm. caused their situation. Yeah. So. So overall, I think for, for plot, for story, for effects, for uh, acting. It was pretty good story acting. writing. There was nothing there in there were, that I was like, lyrics, this is forced. Lyrics. Even like writing. There was not too many scenes where I was like, oh, this is sounding cheesy. This is sounding corny. Like no. this is like, it was all pretty much like how I think people would probably realistically react yeah. to this. Oh, one, I these agree. Moments. Yeah. One thousand percent. So 4.3 for me. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I'm probably right around there. I was like stuck between a four and like a 4.5. Cause I really did enjoy it. I thought it was super good. Mm-hmm. Um, it was an hour and 47 minutes. So almost a two hour film. And it was, but it didn't feel like it. To no, me. it didn't. It was pretty, it was very easy to get through. Mm-hmm. And, um, I think because it feels like it's also in segments. Cause it's like, First half, like first act, and then nightfall, mm-hmm. second act until like the next day. Yeah. And then the third day when we get like the final sh- third act, everything happens. Yeah. So I think that's why it felt like that to me that it, it wasn't was nice like, and broken up. Yeah. Um, paced, and, it was paced well. Yeah, it was. And like you said, all the acting was pretty good. There was no, there was not really any part where I was like, nope, that's not that's believable. Cringe. Yeah. yeah, everyone even everyone like did the a really Bobby and job. Brenda like little like oh, even at the end whenever like at the moment after she's like they're doing something with the booby traps and she's like he's he's got worked up about something and she's just like crying and at that point he's just like I'm sorry and like hugs yeah. her just like because she obviously because she like, she was setting off the tire like setting the tire on fire and yeah. stuff and he was like no one's gonna see this no one's gonna come for help yeah like no one's gonna see that fucking tire burning no one's gonna help us mm-hmm. and that's when he like. That was when she starts crying and then he starts crying too because obviously they're both just scared. Traumatic experience, yeah. Yeah, and their whole relationship was very sibling-esque. Yeah, Yeah. they're going to pick on each other, but now Mm -hmm. it's like, this is not the time. They're the closest Mm -hmm. in age. like So they're obviously very, because I feel like siblings that do have that kind of relationship are also very close. Mm -hmm. Like you pick on the people that you love, love as bad as that sounds. I get it. Um, But yeah, so it was clear that they were very close and they just enjoyed like heckling one another. And Mm -hmm. then, so in that moment, like, you know, it was good that they had each other, but yeah, all of it was super believable. I enjoyed it. The practical effects were pretty cool. Um, Yeah. I'd say I'll give it 4.32. 4.3 as well. Or we'll give it at a 4.3. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 4.3 from your boo base for the 2006 remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. But as always, yeah. we are in the lovely Rogue Media Network studio. Mm-hmm. They take great care of us. As and um, if you want to listen to our show or any of the other beautiful shows on Rogue Media Network, you can find them on roguemedianetwork.com or also on your streaming platforms such as Spotify. And Apple Podcast. And just any other podcast. Yeah, wherever you get your podcast. Yeah. But wherever you do listen, please don't forget to rate, review, like, and subscribe. Because that is the only way we can ever get ahead in this world of podcasts. Yes, please. Because there's so many out there and there are so many great ones, but we think ours is really great too. That's and right. we would love to be up there with everyone else. And if you think it's great, leave a review, yeah, please. For sure. And we're excited and we um, are so thankful for all of our new fa- listeners, new listeners mm-hmm. people who are just tuning in with us. And we are excited to keep sharing the spooks with you. As- especially as we get closer to actual spooky season Ooh, spooky now. Spooky season, Yay. yes. I'm so excited. Me too. Mm. Um, and then you, if you want to reach out and connect with us and talk to us about any of the films that you've watched or s- stuff like and kind of follow along we have one listener who's um his name's jeff oh yeah sorry i hope that's shout out to say. jeff yeah he's been super interactive with our stuff and mm-hmm. he's been like you know liking our posts going through and like re-watching movies and like 
letting us know and stuff, which is really cool. I love that. And, and we would love more of y'all to do that. Yeah. So yeah. if you've watched some of the movies and even if it was like episode three, let us know what you thought about it. Or it's if you see fun. a horror movie that you see that we haven't even covered, but you really liked it, like give us a little, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, suggestions. Yeah. yeah. Like we're always down. Also, uh, Kesley had also messaged us about Kesley, who was on for our um, Bob Duke episode. Mm-hmm. She had messaged us about a film that she had watched and gave us her review. Nice. Um, and so she, okay, she said, I just finished the Friday the 13th episode and she said, loved it. Um, she said, but I would definitely give this classic movie a three. She said, I've mm. only seen it once and it was a few months ago, but I uh, was genuinely shocked by the twist in the end of it being the mom, which I was like, girl, how did you not catch on after you watched all the screen videos or screen movies? But yeah, cause they say it in that. Yeah. Um, but she says, I went in thinking it was going to just be Jason. So she was like, I was kind of bored <laughs> because I knew it was going to happen, but then it wasn't. The twist. Yeah. And so she's like, I loved it. Um, and then she said, we should do the trilogy movies, um, fear street. Honestly, she said, those are summer slash. Have you seen them? Uh, I think I've seen, I actually, no, I don't think I have. I enjoyed that. I think I've seen them and then I've not actually watched them. I enjoyed the trilogy. Yeah. It's pretty, it's a RL Stein goosebumps. um, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He wrote these. It's kind of like targeted towards a little bit of an older audience and like preteens. Yeah. But cause there's like, yeah, actual deaths and stuff, but they were pretty good. The third one was my favorite one. Um, that would be fun because they're set in the first one set in the 90s the second one is set in the 80s or 70s I believe and then the first one is set in like the 17 somethings because it's like yeah it goes back okay that would be fun but they all tie into each other I love that that's Mm -hmm. really neat that's Um, exciting yeah we could Um, do like a three we could end our summer series with like a three part do 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 and then you want to do that we'll see yeah because uh, I looked it up summer doesn't end until September 22nd so we have so we got some time yeah (laughs) so Um, we're gonna watch the first episode of the or the first movie of the fear street trilogy then next um I think we're gonna do something before that and then we'll do and then we'll we'll do do the three okay because I think the way the timing is lined up we still have like this many episodes before summer's over oh okay yeah so we've got quite a few yeah um six six yeah. okay so we'll let y'all know what we end up recording um and stuff for the next yeah, one sure. it, but again you can follow us and mm-hmm. figure out what we choose to record next and let us know your thoughts on that film um at our on our one social media platform that is instagram and that is at boo bays podcast and that's b-o-o-b-a-e-s because they're your boo bays not your boo babes that's right and yeah please reach out we love to we really love hearing from y'all and um yeah it's we're so thankful for mm-hmm. all the new people who've come. Literally. Mike just literally, Mike just texted me the, the stats, and it's, it's exciting. That's awesome. There's quite a few yeah. people. Keep, so thank keep, you guys. Keep a lookout. It really guys. means yeah. the world to us that you're listening, and um, yeah, we can't wait to give you more spooks in the future. Mm-hmm. So until then, bye, bays. Bye, bays. has been a Rogue Media Podcast.